Hey everyone, um, I wanted to make another video, I was thinking of stuff to do, and I was thinking, I have a lot of Godzilla DVDs that are interesting, I might as well go through those. So anyway, uh, there's, uh, the first Godzilla, or, uh, Gojira, Gojira, whatever. Anyway, this was a really nice DVD of the very first Godzilla movie. It had both versions, Japanese and English, re-edited version. It came with a little booklet full of really cool information. Let's see, two discs. Each disc had a Japanese version, the English version. There were commentaries, there was bonus features, it was a really nice DVD. And it's still worth getting because a lot of the bonus features from this were not kept on other releases of it, like uh, the Criterion DVD. I used to have the Criterion Godzilla DVD, but I uh, traded it in when I got the uh, Criterion Blu-ray box set there. This was a really, really nice thing, especially if you're like me and all you want is just the Japanese versions with no frills. <laughs> so yeah, we got this big booklet full of artwork and uh, information about each movie. My only problem was, whoops, yeah. in the back where the discs are, all you had were these little, like, slots to slide the discs in and out of and they're blu-rays so yeah they're more durable than dvd that's fine but also it's just inconvenient to you know deal with the gigantic book so i stuck them in a spare case that i had lying around and uh yeah there's all the criterion showa godzilla movies i've heard some rumors that they're planning on doing another godzilla a DVD set, or Blu-ray set, it's gonna be the Heisei movies, so anyway, back to, uh, yeah, the other DVDs, there's the Classic Media Godzilla Raids Again, and it's, uh, English version, uh, Gigantus the Fire Monster, a really crappy version of the movie, or actually, Raids Again isn't really all that good either, but the English version's, uh, yeah, worse, I do like the commentary on it, though, the commentary, Makes it a bit more watchable. <laughs> Let's see, and then Mothra vs. Godzilla. And when I was a kid, this was one of my favorite Godzilla movies. This was so cool. I love the fairies. Mothra was cool. The, the human characters are really great in this movie. Anyway, again, uh, two versions of the movie on this one with commentary and bonus features. I always like stuff like that. And here's the very first Godzilla DVD that I bought. Or, well, bought myself. Uh, Ghidorah the Three-Headed Monster, or Ghidorah the Three-Headed... This was another one of my favorites when I was a kid. I used to rent this all the time and just watch it constantly. And then Invasion of Astro Monster. I'm skipping around a bit, because there's a... I have all the show ones in that set, so a bunch... Of, some of the DVDs that I had, I gave away. But I kept these ones, because they have commentaries and uh, bonus features, the English versions which I do like. I have, like, a nostalgic uh, love for those. Let's see. Oh, and then there's a couple of DVDs I wasn't sure if I would talk about because they're unofficial bootlegs. Like, here's a uh, King Kong vs. Godzilla, the Japanese edition. This is on the Blu-ray, but the weird thing on the Blu-ray... Uh, it's not on the main discs. I The whole reason I got the Blu-ray was for King Kong vs. Godzilla, the Japanese version, which has never been put out over here. The only official release is the uh, English DVD, and I think they, turned, they had that on Blu-ray also. But anyway, it's only ever the English version, and I don't like that version. <laughs> There's some bits I like. I, I hate the news reporter parts. It cuts away to this news reporter talking about a jar of berries... And there's an infamous line he has where he says Godzilla's brain is the size of an acorn or something stupid. Anyway, I always hated that, and when I was a kid I wanted to fast forward past him. So anyway, on the Blu-ray, uh, I put in the disc with King Kong vs. Godzilla, press play, the English version starts. And I was like, wait, what? So then I went to the menu, I checked, there's no Japanese version, did I get ripped off? And I'm putting in all the discs, and I find... There it is, on the bonus features disc. What's it doing on the bonus features disc? 
the thing that most people would be buying this for. Why is it on the... It's stupid. It's like how in that 2006 Star Wars DVD set, uh, they had the real movies that everybody wanted as bonus features, and they looked like garbage. King Kong vs. Godzilla doesn't look like garbage, though. It looks very nice on Blu-ray. But it was a strange decision. Why is it on the bonus features instead of who cares? Anyway, Destroy All Monsters. This is the old uh, Tokyo Shock DVD. It's really hard to come by. There is a re-release, but it doesn't have the bonus features. Or maybe it does. I don't know. But anyway, yeah. Commentary with Steve Rifle and Ed Gajeskweski. Gajeskweski? Gajes I can't pronounce that dude's name. I can pronounce lots of really weird names, but... Uh, Ed Gajeskweski? Zuski? I, I can't get his name right. I don't know what it is. Anyway... Uh, I really liked getting this with the commentary track because it. I don't actually like Destroy All Monsters that much. I remember when I was a kid... Oh, and this is an interesting thing. When I was a kid, I went to the video store and I saw, oh, cool, they got some new Godzilla tapes in and there's Destroy All Monsters. So I pick it up, take it home, and it's in widescreen. Huh, that's weird. I had never seen a widescreen VHS tape before. And the other weird thing, it was in Japanese with English subtitles. That was really, really weird. Uh, so yeah, the first subtitled movie I'd ever seen. Uh, and then, let's see. Yeah, the weird thing, later on I found out there was never like an official release like that, as far as I could find. So was that a bootleg that was in the video store? Maybe, I don't know. The video store is not around anymore, and even if it was, they sold all their tapes years ago. So anyway, yeah, nice to have to show monsters with a commentary track over what I consider to be kind of a, a dull movie. <laughs> and let's see, what's up next? Oh yeah, All Monsters Attack. I actually really liked this one when I was a kid. Uh, yeah, hate me Godzilla fans. Anyway, I was, a, I was like six or seven. Can you blame me? I preferred seeing a kid run around and deal with a bunch of stock footage monsters instead of the, the alien stock plot that was done better in Ghidorah, Ghidorah and Mothra. Oh, here's an interesting thing. This was a dollar DVD, I think, or something. Uh, let's see, it had Godzilla vs. the Smog Monster, Godzilla vs. Megalon, and this is the only like official release of the... Uh, the specific English version of Smog Monster... The Save the Earth song at the beginning is dubbed into English. On most DVDs, it's in it's the uh, international dub. There's no translated song at the beginning, and a lot of the dialogue is different throughout the movie. So I was really happy to find this. The version of Megalon is just the you know, typical crappy version of it. It doesn't look good. It has this red tint over the whole thing. Oh, one of the weird things, on the back, the pictures are next to the wrong movies. Yeah, they have the Megalon pictures by the Smog Monster description, and the Smog Monster pictures by the Megalon description. What's that all about? I don't know, anyway. Oh, and one of the weird things, on eBay, I was looking for this, and I thought I had found it, but what I got was like a Korean uh, re-release of the international Smog Monster version, and it just used the same cover with Godzilla 2000 there, I think. Why is he on the cover? He's not in the movie. Anyway, here's uh, the official Megalon DVD. Oh, which I actually have two of. This one is uh, the version with bonus features. Yeah, there was a extremely limited release of Godzilla vs. Megalon. Oh, and it came with this little piece of paper with it explaining that... This is the recalled version of Godzilla vs. Megalon DVD. And then it has pictures of uh, the menu screens from the recalled DVD. Now, it was weird. I pre-ordered this, so I thought I'd be getting the version with bonus features, and I was very disappointed when I got it, and nothing. There's no bonus features on it. It's completely bare bones. Really disappointing. So, I was really happy to find this and get my money's worth. Kinda, sorta. This was like 40 bucks. <laughs> so yeah, I had to pay like about three times as much just to get what I ordered. 
Anyway, Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla. This was the very first Godzilla movie I ever saw. Not on DVD, I saw the old tape. Let's see, it was... I can't remember exactly when it was. 96 or 7? I don't know. It was when there was rumblings about there was going to be an American Godzilla movie. And they were talking about it. And I had these like old monster movie books that talked about Godzilla. And I was like, oh, that looks cool. I liked Godzilla's design. And so, yeah, I think it was right when the 98 movie was coming out. Or whenever the first trailer for that came out. I saw that and I was like, oh, that looks cool. I want to see that movie. And my grandmother was like, oh, you know, the original movie was pretty good, so you should watch that. So she sent my grandfather to the video store. All the Godzilla movies are gone except this one. So he picked up this one. Really happy because later on I did see the first one. And as a kid, I couldn't really appreciate the, like, the subtleness of it or the scariness. Because even as a kid, like, scary movies didn't really work for me. Like, I, I wasn't scared of movies. There were things that would, like, disturb me and freak me out, but that was, like, when I was even younger than that. So, anyway, Mecha Godzilla, I really love this. I really love the cheesy, stupid English version. Uh, my favorite line in the English version is where the one guy, oh, who played uh, the boss in, was it Super Sentai, Tayo Sentai Sun Vulcan, I think? I don't know. One, one of the Sentais had the guy who, in the English version, says... I'm what you might call a scattle hunter. If I get a big scoop, I'll make a lot of money. <laughs> I love that. Some of the dubbing was really bad in that movie. Whoa. My Godzilla Blu-ray fell. Oh, okay. There's a piece of thing <laughs> blocking it. There. Anyway, Terror of Mechagodzilla. Now, this one I didn't see for the longest time. Uh, I bought a tape of it, but it was the wrong box. The box was for Terror of Mechagodzilla, but the inside was just normal Mechagodzilla. Now, down at uh, Mike's Showtime, this local video store nearby, they had a tape of this. But for whatever reason, I just didn't get it until years later they were selling all their tapes. And I was like, oh, cool, I'll buy that. And it was uh, the edited down, like, uh totally incoherent version of the movie. So I was really happy to find the DVD, which has the uncut version of the movie, that actually makes some sense. <laughs> oh, and here's a th weird thing I bought off eBay. Godzilla vs. the Wolfman, with its teeny, teeny tiny cover. <laughs> oh, and uh, nothing on the disc. Yeah, it's just a DVD-R. It's like, uh, like a half-hour unfinished Godzilla fan movie from Japan where Godzilla fights a wolfman. That's all it is. It's not that good, but it it was kind of popular because it was like an underground fan Godzilla movie, like only hardcore fans had ever heard of it. So it was a neat little thing to talk about. And I have another bootleg here of Godzilla 1985, which says 1984. Okay. The weird thing... Uh, I bought it for 1985, but it came with a disc of Return of Godzilla, the Japanese version. I didn't know it was going to come with that. So, yeah, that was really strange. I, I couldn't complain about it because I didn't have that version either. And that version wasn't put out in the U.S. on DVD or anything yet. I only had the 1985 uh, tape at that time. Let's see, eventually uh, Kraken Releasing did put out... Return of Godzilla, but they couldn't get 1985 for some reason. The rights to that are all tangled up. So the English version of 1985... Uh, yeah, don't know what's going on with that. Oh, but anyway, the English version on here... There is an English version of the movie that's different from 1985. It's the international dub of it. With some, yeah, very different dialogue. It's very strange. And then here is Godzilla vs. Biolanti. Now, this is one of the tapes I used to rent a lot. And watching the DVD, I was kind of surprised. Like, wow, as a kid, I had the patience to sit through this. Because <laughs> as an adult, I'm like, come on, get to the monsters. <laughs> yeah. Oh. First time on DVD. Yeah, it only took, like, 20 years. Seriously, I don't know what took Biolanti so freaking long. 
Let's see, and then we get some weird double feature DVDs. Uh, King Ghidorah and Mothra the Battle for Earth. These were more that I saw as a kid. King Ghidorah, I freaking loved it. It was awesome. And, uh... I didn't know anything about World War II, so the one, the the flashback, if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about, the flashback, where there's uh, Japanese soldiers fighting American soldiers on some island, Godzilla comes out, and there's all these American uh, soldiers who have the, just the worst actors. I love this one guy screaming, a dinosaur, a giant dinosaur is killing our boys. <laughs> oh, and then there's a really cringy part where uh, one of the army guys is talking to the other army guy, and he says, Wow, a giant... I can't remember now what he said. Anyway, he's talking about the giant dinosaur, and he says, You can tell your kids about this one day, Major Spielberg. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Even as a kid, I hated that stupid line. Anyway, then there's Mothra. I didn't like that one when I was a kid. It starts off with a really crappy uh, Indiana Jones ripoff. Yeah, two Spielberg ripoffs in a row. What do you know? Anyway, and then the rest of the movie, like, it's an okay movie. I watched it again as an adult, and it's fine. But I just can't get over it. When I was a kid, I just really didn't like it. <laughs> I don't know what it is about it. I just... I don't know. Oh, and here's uh, the worst Godzilla DVD I have. Mechagodzilla 2 uh, from a library or something. Yeah, a library with stickers all over it. It's got this big blue thing on the side that makes it... It would make it hard to open if the snaps weren't completely broken. And there's the disc with the sticker on it. And then, let's see. If, I don't know if this will show up, but there's cracks along the inside of here, so i got to be really careful with it. <laughs> anyway, I haven't watched it yet. I had the tape of this, and uh, this was another Godzilla movie that I just did not care for. I didn't like Mechagodzilla's new design, and I didn't like the title, Mechagodzilla 2? Like, watching it now, I'm thinking, okay, that's like the name of the Mechagodzilla, it's the Mechagodzilla Mark II or something, I don't remember, because I haven't watched this in forever, because I didn't really care for it. Anyway, I saw Mechagodzilla 2, and I was like, so is it... A sequel to the original Mechagodzilla? No, it isn't. Terror of Mechagodzilla is the sequel. This is... I don't know why they titled it that. Oh, and I don't like Baby Godzilla's design. He looks stupid. <laughs> yeah, I'm the only fan in the world who thinks that uh, Little Godzilla from Space Godzilla looks leagues better than Baby Godzilla. I actually like uh, Little Godzilla. He's cool. Would have been neat if he had his own movie. So anyway, Space Godzilla, I didn't see that one as a kid, but I liked it. I think I would have liked it as a kid. The movie's kind of a mess, though. Really could have used a better editor. Then Destroya, or Desatroya, whatever. Really like that one, too. That one's really cool. Let's see. Oh, and I also have that one on Blu-ray. Because the DVD didn't have the Japanese versions. Those double features didn't have the Japanese versions. So I got this Blu-ray... And for some reason, the Blu-ray was a double feature with Mega Gearus. Yeah, it skips over Godzilla 2000. What the... What? I don't know what they were thinking, but anyway, they put 2000 out on its own Blu-ray. And it says, includes English and Japanese versions. So first I was like, oh cool, two discs, right? Nope. What the... Well then why isn't this on the double feature with that? If it's only one disc. Oh, and, uh, anyone want that, uh, digital code? If you can make that out, it's kind of blurry. I'm not gonna use it. If anybody wants to use that. Let's see, what's next? Oh, Godzilla, Mothra, and King Ghidorah, giant monsters, all out attack. Uh-huh. Yeah, that one had an infamous title. Everyone just calls it GMK. <laughs> oh, and this is one of the ones I got for Christmas years ago. There's the little sound ground sticker that I stuck inside. Yeah, quite a few years ago for Christmas I got this, or my grandparents took me to sound ground and I just, they said pick out, like, I can't remember what it was, like 50 bucks of DVDs, and so I got all Godzilla DVDs. <laughs> oh, and there's Godzilla against Demeca Godzilla. It's okay. I like Mechagodzilla's design. He looks cool. 
The movie itself is just kind of boring. And then, oh, Tokyo SOS? This was actually a pretty cool one. I had just seen Mothra when I watched this, and this has a ton of callbacks to Mothra, so that was a really neat thing. And then here's Final Wars. This was another one of the ones I got for Christmas, and I remember watching it on Christmas, and so now I always think of this as a Christmas movie. <laughs> There's the sticker from Soundground. Now, let's see. There was a lot of things I didn't like about Final Wars, but there was a lot of really cool stuff that I did like, so... I don't know, it's a love-hate type of movie. M mostly love. <laughs> let's see. Oh, and then the last of the Japanese Godzilla DVDs I have, Shin Godzilla. I really, really like this movie. He has such a cool design, a couple of designs. His uh, atomic ray is purple, and that's really cool. Ah, oh, and look at the inside. That is cool. I love the, like, graffiti-style uh, title. Oh, and you can get a good look at Shin Godzilla there. Whoops, my DVDs are falling. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I really liked Shin Godzilla. Too bad I didn't get a sequel. Maybe I could get a sequel. And yet another? <laughs> Let's see. Now, I did have the first of the Godzilla animes... Uh, what was it called? Planet Eater or something? Or Planet of Monsters? Anyway, I watched it, almost fell asleep. I was really fighting hard to stay awake. So much of it is really boring, and the colors are all gray and blue. It's a bunch of anime people on a spaceship, and they're heading back to Earth, and uh, they head to Earth, and they're like, oh no, the monsters are still taking over the Earth. Well, let's get down there and kill them or something. And they get attacked by Godzilla, and then... At the end, it turns out that that was only a baby Godzilla, and the real Godzilla is a giant that they're on the back of. The twist ending was kind of... Oh, spoilers, sorry. <laughs> oh, well. I don't have editing. I can't edit my videos, so... Oh, well. Anyway, I didn't like the movie. It was boring. It was garbage. I didn't like it. There were two sequels. I've heard they were way better, but then again, I heard the same thing about Digimon Try. Oh yeah, I haven't watched Last Evolution Kuzuna yet. I'm really hoping that doesn't suck. <laughs> oh, well, anyway, on to the American Godzilla DVDs. Here's American Godzilla Monster Edition, which I only bought because it had three episodes of the cartoon, and I couldn't find all the DVDs and tapes of that that were available. Let's see, in this movie, I actually didn't see it for quite a while. Uh... After I saw Mechagodzilla and some of the other Godzilla movies from the video store, I saw the commercials for this Godzilla, and I was like, no. Nah, I don't want to see this one. <laughs> I took one look at Iguana Godzilla, and I was like, eh, no. And so, years later, I found it at a library sale. It was a Spanish subtitled version. Anyway, I got that, I watched it, and I learned some Spanish, and uh, I, I didn't like it. <laughs> I thought the humans were annoying. I didn't like them. I liked, um, uh, is it Dan Castellaneta there as Animal, the news, the news guy? I liked him. So, of course, he gets screwed over at the end by the French guy, who I also don't like. I don't know, the whole movie was just... I didn't like it. I don't know why... Oh, right, I have the DVD because there's, like, a couple of bonus features that I do kind of like, so... <laughs> anyway, we did get the cartoon on DVD, which is way better than the movie. A million times better than the movie, and also, oddly, better than the Japanese Godzilla cartoons. Oh, and better than the American Hanna-Barbera Godzilla cartoons. Oh, this is a replacement box. The original case it came in was one of those ones where it's like uh, this little square thing with little paper sleeves for the discs. I hate that. <laughs> oh, and then last up is uh, the 2014 Godzilla. I don't have King of the Monsters yet. And now it's been so long, I'm thinking of just waiting until uh, the new Godzilla vs. Kong comes out. And then, like, I'm sure there'll be a triple feature with all three of the new legendary Godzilla movies all in one. Oh yeah, I wrote down the bonus features because they don't have the courtesy to 
list all the bonus features. It's that stupid thing where it just says, and more. I hate that. It doesn't even tell you which disc the bonus features are on. That's annoying. Oh, and uh, here's another digital code. Uh, if anybody wants that, you can go ahead and copy that. I don't know if it's still good. I don't know how long these last. Anyway, uh, I saw this in the theater. It was okay. It could have been... It could have easily been better. Like, just show Godzilla more. There's so many scenes where it's like, oh, there he is, and it's gone. Lame. <laughs> the final battle's cool. Oh, one of the weird things, this is a really dark movie, and I don't mean dark as in tone, I mean dark as in I can't see anything. When I first got the DVD, I put it on, I had to turn my lights off, uh, turn the brightness all the way up on my TV, then I could kind of see some of it. I don't know if it was like a thing with the DVD or or what or because the type of TV I was using maybe I haven't watched it on this TV which is a high def TV maybe this one will work or the one in my room is also a uh, better TV anyway that's all my Godzilla DVDs or at least all the uh, the main ones I have a few odd ones here and there and everywhere see ya